Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Talk World Talk Show presented by Clickaway Creators. Today we have Dr. Ajinkya with us. He is certified and a recognized lawyer with numerous international awards. Dr. Ajinkya is an independent practitioner with the experience of 17 years in the field of law with his specialization in constitutional law, civil law, arbitration, corporate law, commercial law, education matters, and in criminal side, and also a blockchain lawyer. Now, without further ado, let's dive into knowing more about him. Hello, Dr. Jinkya. Thank you for joining us today. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Abhishek. Uh, and thank yeah. you for uh, inviting me uh, in this uh, prestigious uh, platform. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, so let's start with a quick introduction from your end. So please tell us more about your uh, legal journey so far. Yes, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, as my legal journey starts with my uh, legal education, uh, that is the five years integrated course, uh, degree uh, BA LLB honors. And uh, after that, uh, from uh, this, uh, the university was Devi uh, Haile Vishwavidyalaya. And from the same uh, teaching department, uh, School of Law, I done my master's in law in constitutional law and legal order as my specialization, because uh, the choice of this uh, specialization uh, uh, arose as a constitution is umbrella for all the law, sub uh, law uh, uh, subjects and uh, all the acts, statutes. Therefore, uh, I chosen this constitutional law and legal order. After that, uh, I pursued my PhD in law from uh, the same university. And uh, uh, recently I also done several uh, specialized courses from uh, Harvard and from uh, the Germany, Berlin uh, on international law and on contract law. So uh, uh, this is what is my academic uh, journey. And uh, uh, my uh, guide was uh, for PhD, uh, Dr. Gulab Chand Kasliwal. He, done his JSD, Jurisprudentia Science Doctorate from uh, Cornell University, USA in 1940s. So he was a superannuated uh, teacher uh, from Devi Haile Vishwavidyalaya. So I was very lucky to do my, uh, uh, as a research scholar under his able guidance. So wow. uh, yes, and uh, uh, then I, uh, 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 with with uh, along with my studies, I came in uh, the legal practice. I started my practice from the trial courts, then uh, high court. Joined uh, the practice in high court, uh, uh, appearing in several matters, important issues, and also appearing in the Honorable Supreme Court of India frequently from year two thousand three. Uh, uh, almost appeared before all the uh, chief justices and other honorable Supreme Court judges uh, also before the constitutional benches in important issues. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. So now I will also like to add uh, Mr. Abhishek that uh, I am also uh, teaching as honorary visiting faculty in School of Law Devi Aile Vishwavidyalaya from last 13 years. Wow. Uh, and uh, uh, almost taught uh, uh, 10 plus subjects uh, of law and uh, also I am one of the founder member of one private law institution established in, in the year 2014 in Indore. Wonderful. I think you have a major role in the academic side also in the legal business. Yes. Right. So uh, now coming to my first question to you, uh, tell us about a complex uh, legal issue you worked on and uh, describe the complexity and tell us how you approached it. Uh, there are uh, several uh, complex issues which I dealt with, uh, but uh, the notable complex issue I want to share with this platform is that uh, uh, I was appearing for one Mexican citizen. He. Uh, uh, he was alleged for for uh, for a, a banned substance, uh, narcotic substance under the NDPS Act. Uh, the the issue is still uh, pending in the subjudice in the trial court before the special NDPS court. And uh, in that matter, a instance arrived 
uh, for my client, Mexican client, that uh, for a foreign uh, lawyer, Mexican law, Mexican lawyer wanted to meet my client. So uh, regarding this, uh, the uh, law is very clear, and uh, uh, that uh, one has to uh, go as per the uh, if a foreign lawyer needs to meet anyone. Uh, as per the Indian procedure, then he has to follow the Indian laws, uh, the Indian Advocates Act, the Bar Council of India rules. So uh, uh, recently, uh, the Honorable Supreme Court of India uh, passed a remarkable uh, judgment. And in that remarkable judgment, uh, uh, which came uh, before in the matter of uh, uh, AK, uh, the matter was uh, regarding uh, the Bar Council of India versus A.K. Balaji. And uh, in that matter, uh, the Honorable Supreme Court of India said that uh, fly in and fly out. Okay. Uh, foreign lawyer uh, can, uh, without practice, uh, he can come and he can advise on an international issue. Uh, frequent visits of foreign lawyers not allowed. So, uh, for a, a special advice, international issue, uh, for a limited purpose, the foreign lawyer is also uh, with the with the citing such a uh, uh, landmark judgment before the trial court. Uh, the trial court was satisfied on my application, allowing the Mexican uh, lawyer to meet my uh, client, Mexican client, in the uh, district jail in Indore. And uh, the court, the trial court directed the jail superintendent to arrange a meeting with my client as per the jail manual. Mm -hmm. So the, this is what is the, the this, this is what, what was a complex case, and uh, there are various other complex cases. But uh, I wanted to share with you because it was uh, uh, a really a learning and uh, 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 unforgettable sure. experience. Yes, for I'm sure this will be a great learning for our viewers also. Right. So uh, my next question would be is uh, because we have seen a lot of changes during this pandemic time because courts are uh, going towards more remote proceedings and availabilities. So what do you think? Is this sustainable and a positive, possible way to increase access to justice? Yes. Uh, let me uh, tell you that uh, on this uh, prestigious platform that uh, uh, from last uh, four terms, uh, I am the national executive member of the Bar Association of India. And uh, uh, I was lucky enough to be uh, the part of the meetings uh, in the Bar Association of India where the stalwart law, uh, stalwarts in the field of law uh, uh, give their uh, valuable time uh, for resolving the these uh, critical issues like uh, the whatever you... Uh, uh, asked me regarding the remote proceedings. So uh, a lot of research has been already been done by the justice uh, delivery system mechanisms. Uh, the Honorable Supreme Court of India committees are very vigilant regarding this and uh, 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 we are getting the real uh, output, uh, whatever the committees decided and now those things are being implemented in this pandemic era because uh, the uh, real uh, uh, person who is the litigant is suffering like anything and uh, the justice system cannot stop anywhere. So uh, the, the need of the day is to shift towards this uh, remote proceedings in this third wave also. And uh, whatever experience we had in the first wave, in the second wave, now there are improvements now in the court of law. And we are uh, participating uh, on those uh, given platforms where we argue the cases. And uh, we, uh, the stakeholders, all the stakeholders, whether client, whether lawyers, or whether other stakeholders, they are given participation uh, for hearing the cases. And uh, uh, I think change will come. Uh, patience has to be there. Yes. And in India, in a big country like us, 
to reach the villages to reach the needy the system has to be developed uh, like uh, justice at the doorstep so justice should be provided at the doorstep this should be the mantra absolutely correct and uh, professionals are very adoptive with this new changes as you mentioned so i must say uh, so how would you rate the current legal system uh, systems drive towards encouraging access to justice is there a tangible movement uh, in closing this uh, justice gap uh, uh yes uh, uh, let uh, let me tell you that uh, to finger anyone first uh, yeah. uh, one should begin with our home itself and uh, uh, in hand in hand that is the, uh, the when we talk about a chariot so uh, everyone is part of that chariot all the stakeholders are the part of that chariot and uh, uh, to because there are uh, several uh, uh, matters pending in different court of law in uh, the trial courts in high court in honorable supreme court of india so uh, to adjudicate those matters the alternative resol uh, resolution system that is the adr processes uh, are playing their great role in resolving the disputes uh, that is the substantive justice which we can say that uh, the justice really in hands of the needy the litigant uh, who won the matter uh, is required to be there so uh, not only in uh, the black and white papers in the black and white judgments but uh, really it should uh, uh, support the uh, cause and uh, uh, what i feel is that uh, uh, the things are changing in the changing world and uh, the lawyers also need to uh, increase their skills uh, day by day and uh, need to move towards uh, different tools because we learned these uh, uh, aspects from our seniors my father who is my guru uh, shri satish dagaukar advocate who is also uh, uh, quite senior and practicing in the honorable uh, honorable high court of madhya pradesh bench at indore and uh, whatever i am learning uh, the discourses uh, from my uh, other seniors also and uh, uh, obviously family is the uh, base uh, the base of everything mother is yes. the base of everything and uh, the, this is what i am mean to say that uh, uh one everyone has to participate in it whether i whether you or uh, any other citizen so the citizen has to be vigilant uh, if they want uh, justice and the justice uh, uh, the people feel that the courts are the last resorts so yes. with great respect to the honorable courts that uh, still the uh, the belief is true that courts are the last resorts i seen in my short span of my practice that justice happens justice takes time it cannot be said to be delay it takes time beautifully explained uh, sir so now because you have also talked about uh, the tools and you have uh, I, uh, you have also talked about the other tools so my next question would be because uh, now we are using lot of legal technology so what are the most commonly uh, used tools for you in your uh, in your particular business yes uh, uh, actually uh, mr abhishek uh, this is actually a noble profession uh, we can say the occupation is uh, uh, advocacy and uh, this is a noble profession and uh, when we say it's a noble profession then uh, the tools which we use uh, uh, we uh, we actually we come across all the professions whether businessman whether architect whether engineer or uh, doctors and uh, the varied uh, different professions uh, so uh, uh, we should be uh, well aware of uh, the tools which are used uh, in different professions and uh, the technology which we are using nowadays because we learn from the technocrats that uh, like uh, as i am uh, a certified international uh, blockchain advisor so uh, uh, the word blockchain uh, is not worth uh, worth with 
uh, all the citizens but uh, uh, the coming era is of uh, blockchain and uh, the uh, i talked about the future aspects and uh, apart from the blockchain there are other tools uh, they, uh, the new tools are coming day by day and uh, we lawyers are trying to acquaint ourselves with those new tools uh, we learn from our students we learn from our seniors also we learn from our colleagues also that how to operate it and what i want to say that to use the different tools like uh, the the best example which i want to place is that you are taking my interview and uh, i am addressing Absolutely. so the the gap has been uh, reduced reduced yes reduced and uh, we are utilizing the time uh, the uh, given time and uh, uh this way the purpose is being solved because just after this interview my clients are coming to meet me whom i have given the time uh, for yes. meeting for their matters so uh, if i would have been in uh, the uh, my my moving with my car so uh, that would have taken a lot of time to reach my clients but uh, because of this tool uh i will be just switching over to my clients after this interview directly on my table in my on my office table chamber table so uh, see the management of time and uh, uh, no one is having time in the 21st century so in capsule form one has to uh, uh, do the uh, occupation uh, so that uh, we serve the litigants uh, the real justice should happen and uh, participate in the justice process as a officer of the court because yes. advocates are the officers of the court yes as we discussed as we just uh, spoke a lot about time so my next question would be how do you ensure the your time because uh, time is money in any profession and how do you ensure to make the best uh, of your time as a lawyer yes uh, well uh, mr abhishek that uh, on a lex talk uh, prestigious uh, world platform uh, 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 we all understand the essence of time and uh, the essence of time can be learned from our uh, these uh, vedic era itself the historical era itself but uh, when i talk about this profession the uh, the notable leaders like uh, uh, the uh, uh, leaders in the legal profession the uh, living legend like uh, uh, mr uh, fali nariman and then uh, we cannot forget uh, never forget uh, the uh, mr palki wala nani palki wala ji so uh, the lessons we which we receive regarding the time is that early to bed uh, early to rise uh, so if we rise early then several uh learning processes we can do early morning the exercise because health is wealth ultimately if yes. we come out of this pandemic and uh, um, uh, uh, the vaccinations are coming but if our immunity is strong so uh, the uh, a lawyers health is must for their litigants a good health of a lawyer is must for the litigants and in legal profession as i said a noble profession so the fees is the aspect uh, which i feel is a secondary aspect because one first one has to take command of the facts the whatever client is placing before you understand the facts and then after understanding the facts the umbrella of law has to be uh, covered up uh, as far as the facts are concerned so uh, the uh, reasonable fee needs to be charged from the clients and the reasonable uh, fee can be charged as per their paying capacity uh, right. no be burdened and uh, therefore uh, when uh, time is also the essence money is also the essence because uh, the life can be carried out with the help of money only but uh, mm, it will it will be there it will run before the lawyer the money will run before the lawyer he has to do his best in his uh, practice practice means uh, work 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 that is and uh, learn 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 till his last breath 
so with this uh, uh, mantra one can achieve the great heights because there is always uh, a space at the top the 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 top space is always vacant so uh, uh, i learned from the uh, uh, the trial courts up to the uh, supreme court and attending several international conferences that uh, uh, learned from the stalwarts sitting with the great giants of the legal profession i am lucky enough that in my 18 years of short span of practice i uh, was uh, lucky enough to uh, have great experiences learning experiences and uh, daily uh, when i teach in my university then mm-hmm. i daily get new experiences from the students also i learn wherever uh, whatever bad thing is there i uh, hear from this uh, year and then uh, leave from that year but uh, whatever i want to gain i gain that so uh, uh, this is the uh, try to learning answer. never ends sir wonderful and uh, let me tell you mr abhishek uh, on this uh, platform that uh, even i learn from my daughters there are my two little daughters who are studying in one of the finest schools of indore so what uh, why i am saying this because uh, the next generation should be given the best education yes. so uh, and i hope that uh, in india the government schools should be of such level that uh, uh, uh one should feel that i will not uh, admit my students in the uh, private schools i will admit my students uh, i will admit my uh, children in uh, government schools i am looking for that day to come uh, and uh, then only the social and great uh, legal change and the economic change will come uh, uh, everywhere in india and uh, in the other countries wonderful sir uh so from your wide experience in the legal profession as a well established uh, lawyer how do you see socio economic transformation is achievable with the role of law yes uh, let me connect with my last words that uh, education is the biggest bridge to yes. uh, to move forward and uh, education that is uh, the technical education yeah uh, has to be there uh and uh, 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 not only just the moot courts uh, the moot courts which we see uh, happening in the colleges but they should be like real courts the 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 atmosphere has to be like real courts the not uh, just uh, the uh, uh, framing of uh, a uh, cloud like uh, the courts but uh, the real issues uh, can be uh, framed uh, in a factual manner uh, Uh, the changing the titles and uh, that can be and uh, when uh, the education the whether it's a legal education or whether it's a other subject education then uh, the socio change can come within the community <laughs> awareness is must what i i what i want to uh, share is that awareness of law within the common man is must not only in india but Uh, in the entire world and uh, the uh, the participation of all stakeholders so when participation of all stakeholders will be there when business people will sit together with the lawyers on a platforms when they will share not only for the purpose of meetings and all these things but when they share their real issues that how the development can be there real development can be there uh, on the uh, really on the roads on the uh, really on the down to earth that can happen only with the help of the co- co- cooperation great cooperation of all the professions together uh, and i will uh, term it as a as the uh, i will term it as uh, navratna agar if navratna will be there of all yes. the professions together then socio economic change will be there in the entire world uh, and uh, uh, there will be no uh, people below poverty line there will be no there will be the reduction in the crimes there will be uh, happy life there will be peace in the world because my phd topic was title was on peace lasting peace so uh, if peace will be there if there will be peace in the families so 
we should not only depend on the governments itself. Uh, we should not only hope from the government itself. We should, the change has to be start from our homes. If our our family is uh, strengthened, if our family is strong, then the nation is strong. So this is uh, communities are strong and the nation is strong. So this with these words, uh, I want to say that. Uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Abhishek, uh, let me tell you that when I talked about my family, uh, when we talk about the woman empowerment, so my wife is. Uh, uh, let me uh, uh, take name of my wife, Archana, that uh, she is involved in the woman empowerment. She is social uh, worker and activist, and. Uh, not only I am speaking, but I am strengthening my family. My family is getting strong. The community will be strong uh, along with you. And then our nation will be strong. And our globe will be strong because our globe is a global family. Uh, the world is a global family. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Beautifully put, Ring, sir. So, sir, thank you so much for sharing such a valuable insight with us. I really enjoyed the whole conversation. Uh, so we look forward to having a chat with you again uh, in the future on some other trending topics. Yes, you spelt, uh, Mr. Abhishek, thank you so much. You spelt my name properly, uh, Dr. Ajinkya uh, Dagaukar. So thank you so much for uh, spelling my name and properly because <laughs> uh, it's difficult to spell. I can understand. Not about that. <laughs> So for viewers, if you like this chat with Dr. Jinkya, please like and share this video and also subscribe to Click Away Creators YouTube channel. We appreciate what we do and you have more coming from the industry. This is Abhishek for Let's Talk World.